Well, this is a CES 2020 Innovation Award winner. This is the ROG Strix SCAR 3. It's actually a special version of it that uses a 300 hertz display. It's the fastest display that you can get in a laptop. And because the SCAR 3 is really oriented towards eSports, where having high refresh is super important, that's why we created a special version of this laptop. So 300 hertz refresh rate, significantly faster than obviously a 60 hertz desktop display, uh, but also noticeably faster than a 240 hertz panel. And it's, you know, maybe something for the average gamer doesn't notice, but when you're playing these competitive eSports games, uh, where in some cases you have millions of dollars on the line, you know, every millisecond matters in these cases, and you really do notice the difference in smoothness with the display in these fast-paced games like CSGO, like Rocket League, where you can actually run at over 300 frames per second with the system. So high dynamic range, otherwise known as HDR, something you hear a lot about with entertainment, especially televisions. You're increasingly hearing it about uh, desktop monitors. We've actually been working with it on laptops for quite a while. So this is the GX701, we released this last year. It's a special version of it that has an HDR display, so you can actually go out and buy this right now. Uh, the panel itself though, because we've had this for a year, is not quite as advanced. So it, it's, uh, it's a great panel, it's 144 hertz. Uh, it's very, very fast, the colors look great, uh, but the local dimming for the backlight is limited to 16 zones, which means there is a bit of a halo effect around brighter objects, um, and it's not really at the same level as the best displays today. Um, over here, what we're demoing is a new AUO mini LED panel uh, that is currently available with 240 local backlight dimming zones. So it's a much higher resolution in local dimming compared to the previous generation. And the panel itself actually has the capability to do over a thousand zones for local dimming. Uh, that's actually, a, the panel itself can do it, but the surrounding you know, controller and the firmware, they're actually not ready for this graded display yet. So this is something that we're experimenting with internally. It's an amazing display, it goes up to a thousand nits of brightness. Um, but it's not something that we're ready to put into a product yet, um, in part because of the number of zones, you know, there's still some potential in the display to get more of, and then we're still figuring out exactly what kind of laptop to put this in, because when you have a thousand nits of brightness, that comes with power consumption. And while that's not necessarily a problem with a desktop monitor, there are challenges with laptops that we have to think about. Um, and there's also the fact that the ecosystem for HDR and games is a little bit complicated right now because you have competing M uh, APIs from NVIDIA and Microsoft. The NVIDIA API is much more popular, but it requires that the display be directly connected to the GPU, which means that in a laptop we can't use it with Optimus technology. This isn't a limitation on desktops where you would normally just plug your display into your graphics card, but laptops are sort of a more unique situation, which is why we can't use some of the same desktop technologies as early because we still have to work out some of the, the smaller details that, that make laptops more complex to produce.